Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer here on this Tuesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. Uh, our readings today, uh, well, as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to read to you a large part of our first reading today, and we'll get there in a minute. Uh, but first of all, the Gospel, I want to look at Luke's Gospel today, and it's... Um, a continuation of the story from yesterday, Jesus is at the home of a Pharisee sitting down at a luncheon, a banquet, and someone sitting at table with him mentions to Jesus that, uh, you know, blessed are they who will be sitting at the banquet table in heaven. That's yeah, true. <laughs> blessed. If we can get to that banquet table in heaven for all eternity, what a blessing. But then Jesus warns that, and he tells him a little story uh, to to get across his point, where he he says, "Well, is this person prepared a large banquet for his friends and his family, and and uh, you know the uh, the the people were were sent invitations, and and then he made all the preparations." And then when it was, everything was ready, he called them and said, come on, everything's set, come on to the banquet. And one by one, they came up with excuses. Well, I'm busy, I got this to do. I, you know, one person was uh, buying land and he had to look at it. Another person bought some animals and he had to assess them. One guy was just getting married and, and he said, I can't come. And so on and on excuses were being made and Jesus said that you know all of these people they're 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 and then the the, uh, the person that was throwing this luncheon had his servants go out and just bring others in to fill the hall bring bring other people in to, to fill the banquet hall and they did that and then Jesus said the ones that were invited will not taste the banquet how many excuses do we come up with in our lives? How many times have we heard God inviting us and then we're too busy with other things, with our sinful nature, with being distracted by this, that, or the other, and uh, pay the invitation by God no heed? I mean, that's we're going to we're going to make excuses until we excuse ourselves right out of heaven. Let's not let that happen. Please don't let that happen to you. If today you hear his voice, wait a minute, no if, when today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. And just respond to the invitation to God's table. And in our first reading today, Paul's letter to the Romans, this is from chapter 12. And I would encourage you to go to the 12th chapter of Romans and look at this and read it slowly and maybe even make a copy of it, type it out, laminate it, hang it on your refrigerator, hang it on your, your bathroom mirror and you know just refer to it often because really it's a blueprint, it's a roadmap, it's a guide to how to respond to the invitation of God. This is a, a blueprint on how to live a Christian life. Paul writes this, Let love be sincere. Hate what is evil. Hold on to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in affliction. That's a good one right there. Endure in affliction. Things get hard sometimes. The going gets tough. Illnesses pop up. Uh, all sorts of calamities happen. We have to endure through all of that, you know, and 
maintain our fervent spirit, maintain our zeal, right? Persevere in prayer is the next line. After enduring affliction, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the Holy Ones, a.k.a. be uh, generous in your uh, tithing to church so that the doors of the church and our, your being fed, the Eucharist, can be maintained. Exercise hospitality. Contribute, uh, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. Bless those who persecute you and then reiterated, Bless and do not curse them. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. That's a tough one. But, you know, love thy enemy, right? That's Jesus' command. Love, love your enemy. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Have the same regard for one another. And do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Same thing that we heard in the gospel. When the people that were invited didn't come, the invitation went out to all. The lame, the beggar, the, the poor, the widow, everyone invited in to enjoy God's banquet. We, for ourselves, have to, you know, be, as it, we heard earlier, be hospitable exercise hospitality, but to everyone, not just to select few, not just our friends who, as we heard yesterday, can repay us, but, you know, be gracious and hospitable to those who have no means of repaying you. So this, again, this little section from the 12th chapter of Paul's letter to the Romans let me read it quickly one way, one more time through without uh, interruption here. Let love be sincere, hate what is evil, hold on to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in, in affliction. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the Holy Ones. Exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Have the same regard for one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. The word of the Lord. So, we have our roadmap. We have our blueprint. So let's go and um, live by that. And we'll all be welcomed into the banquet in heaven. Let us pray our evening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord surrounds his people with his peace. Those who put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken, that stands forever. Jerusalem, the mountains surround her, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just, for fear that the hands of the just should turn to evil. Do good, Lord, to those who are good, to the upright of heart, but the crooked and those who do evil drive them away. On Israel, peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Surround your people, Lord, within the safety of your church, which you preserve on its rock, on its rock foundation. Do not let us stretch out our hands to evil deeds, nor be destroyed by the insidious snares of the enemy, but bring us to share the lot of the saints in light. 
the Lord surrounds his people with his peace. Unless you acquire the heart of a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, nor marvels beyond me. Truly I have set my soul in silence and peace. As a child has rest in its mother's arms, even so my soul. O Israel, hope in the Lord both now and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, gentle and humble of heart, you declared that whoever receives a little child in your name receives you, and you promised your kingdom to those who are like children. Never let pride reign in our hearts, but may the Father's compassion reward and embrace all who willingly bear your gentle yoke. Unless you acquire the heart of a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priest for God our Father. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power, for you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, with your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have made us a kingdom, and priests for God our Father. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Your love must be sincere. Detest what is evil. Cling to what is good. Love one another with the affection of brothers. Anticipate each other in showing respect. Do not grow slack, but be fervent in spirit. He whom you serve is the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient under trial. Persevere in prayer. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. Your faithfulness will never fail. Your promise stands unshaken. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. God establishes his people in hope. Let us cry out to him with joy. You are the hope of your people, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because in Christ you have given us all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. You are the hope of your people, Lord. O God, in your hands are the hearts of the powerful. Bestow your wisdom upon government leaders. May they draw from the fountain of your counsel and please you in thought and deed. 
You are the hope of your people, Lord. The talents of artists reflect your splendor. May their work give the world hope and joy. You are the hope of your people, Lord. You do not allow us to be tested beyond our ability. Strengthen the weak and raise up the fallen. You are the hope of your people, Lord. Through your Son, you promise to raise men up on the last day. Do not forget those who have died. You are the hope of your people, Lord. Now, let us offer together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, may our evening prayer rise up to you, and your blessing come down upon us. May your help and salvation be ours, now and through all eternity. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone. And uh, let's do this again tomorrow. Why not? See you then.